good morning good afternoon and good evening to all my viewers around the world welcome back to gateway to voice where in your ideas are our motivations my name is rahmatullah khan muhammad ceo of gateway to voice i warmly welcome all of you and I would like to wish everyone Eid al Mubarak. Dear viewers, thanks for your comments and thanks for watching my videos. As I do get the comments, but unfortunately, I couldn't be able to reply to your comments. Uh, inshallah, uh, next time, um, whenever my users request for any comments or any information from my side i will try to update it as soon as possible so in today's video we will be looking in depth about uh, how to configure cucm 8.6 which is the latest version by cisco uh, for its uh, unified communications and as many videos are going to come up I will be posting more about uh, voice world and um, not only that I will be also uh, putting um, some comments or some useful resources onto my blog site please do watch my blog site as well uh, uh, and the next thing I would like to say uh, everyone that welcome to Cisco world of voice okay so let me start with a brand new uh, uh, brand new network infrastructure which I have designed and keeping in view for my users who are preparing themselves for the voice exam in my previous videos I have defined designed many uh, uh, lab network design based on GNS3 which is one of my favorite simulating module uh, and in today's video I will be uh, showing you a brand new design for Cisco voice examination uh, the design of the network is quite similar to uh, INE network uh, INE network design uh, so let's have a look at it so here is as at the network design for my uh, upcoming videos uh, Inshallah, I try to keep this uh, permanent for my viewers so that there will won't be any uh, complexity in future videos. As you must be aware of, this network is quite similar to my uh, one video, which is on, uh, which is my first video, uh, if I remember it wherein I have a branch router, you know, two branches, one head office and a PSTN connection and most of them are, are familiar with the uh, network design as well uh, which uh, I have posted a video on this as well uh, and the next thing is in this video I have make it very simple and very neatly designed for my viewers or my mates who are really looking into Cisco world of voice in my previous video if you have watched I have described about how to define a frame lily cloud how to connect them and how to establish a PSTN connection so on okay this video is purely based on Cisco Unified Communication Manager 8.x version. Okay, 
as you must be familiar that now Cisco CCI exam on voice is purely based on 8.x versions so I thought of better implementing and my videos on that version itself so in this design you can see is that I have a head office which is connected to a switch and which in turn is connected to different modules like CUCM, CUCE, CUPS, my Windows XP server, my Active Directory uh, server and IP phone then if you come on to the branch of page it's a simple network it just have uh, a, a multi-layer switch with two IP phones and thus otherwise uh, VLANs which I have defined for uh, voice and data and uh, these are the IP phone numbers which I will be using as 2001 and 2002 3001 and 3002 for the branch 2 office same um, as branch 1 network design here the overall network infrastructure will be a centralized one wherein the head office we will be having a CUCM installed and from CUCM we will be hand, uh, we will be operating these two branch offices in my near future videos I will also be implementing SRST modules um, uh, failover clustering like if uh, uh, the head office UCM goes down and then what will happen to the branch offices uh, and so on uh, in my later videos I will also be implementing how to import users from Active Directory uh, uh, I have already made a video on CUPS uh, inshallah I will be making on CUCE as well uh, there will be a much more in depth uh, in this uh, series of videos so I hope you will be watching it and do comment on this so let's start with the design it's a basic design I have said with one head of phase two branches connected via frame relay cloud via frame relay cloud then I have a PSTN connection which is a multi-layer switch uh, which I have again connected it, it from different way uh, from head office to PSTN branch 1 to PSTN and branch 2 to PSTN and from PSTN I have got four IP phones but unfortunately I only be using only one IP phone uh, since I'm using um, on a virtual machine I don't have much resources available sorry for that uh, then I will be using one IP phone here, one IP phone in the branch office, one IP phone in the branch office two, one and then PSTN phone in uh, in the PSTN module uh, connections. Okay, so overall I will be having one, two, three, and four. Four phones will be running up and running, and um, and I will show you the connectivity between them, how to define uh, and then the basic installation of it so please do focus on this uh, here in the head office I have defined three uh, data VLANs one for voice one for data and and one for uh, server and server VLANs you will be having CUCM, CUCE and CUPS with uh, Windows 2003 as Active Directory services and otherwise is is basically an IP phones okay so as you must be knowing that all my simulations will be working are perfectly working on GNS3 and uh, I'm using f uh, for virtual phones like which are my IP communicators I will be using Windows uh, sorry uh, VMware workstation 8.5 version or 8.x versions anywhere uh, anything which you want uh, where I will be having um, three Windows XP's running and one Windows 2003 server running um, uh, so let me on this 
GNS3 module okay and I'll just show you an, a brief overview of the configuration I won't go in depth of these configurations and that's because these configurations have already defined to you there is there is only a difference between the IP addresses nothing else is there uh, so let's start with uh, our um, head office which is router 1 uh, and the router 1 um, right click up right click on it and go to the console let me bring the console in my viewer okay okay so as you must be aware of the basic commands which are used for uh, the, the configuring any uh, anything like basic configuration of how to define an IP address in a for a interface you know, how to define a frame relay please do visit my previous videos which I have already defined and the structure and configurations of this okay so let me clear up this one okay so let me I have gone into enable mode I will click on it's loading up let me clear up this one let me this. So, okay okay so I'm in enable mode let me run show run which is my favorite command which gives you whole description about uh, uh, what configuration I have done okay so uh, let me scroll it down to the bottom to the bottom to the bottom yes that's perfect okay so let's start with uh, the initial setup there is not much you know, configure uh, I have a look back interface as and uh, which has IP address called 177.1.254.1 and sorry uh, to a bit uh, 32 bit mask uh, and I make this look back uh, look back um, interface as to H323 gateway towards gateway wipe interface these are the configuration which you which you will be seeing in there in, uh, in my previous videos uh, and then I have a PSTN connection uh, which is uh, yeah, which is this one okay so this is the uh, a fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 which describes the PSTN connection from head office to router okay uh, I have given its IP address as, as 201.1.100.1 with 32 with um, 30 bit mask and then I have defined a frame cloud for serial 0 slash 0 uh, with 102 as uh, network map like map interfaces with point to point interface description connection to the branch office which has a IP address of 177.0.101.1 with 30 bit mask and I have defined a frame relay interface del C102 which is this connection connecting to router one, uh, branch 1 okay then comes to branch 2 uh, uh, interface with same uh, uh, interface with 103 point to point interface description connection to branch 2 IP address is same but the only difference is 201 and 101 one with 30 bit mask frame relay interface does is 103 okay uh, there is nothing much on it and then uh, uh, since you know that I'm using uh, this router as a router on a stick uh, I have to configure uh, it as I have to configure it, it uh, as encapsulation module of dot one Q. So for fast Ethernet zero slash zero, I said no IP addresses receive speed hundred duplex, full duplex, and then interface fast Ethernet one dot zero ten, which is my uh, voice VLAN encapsulation dot one Q ten. The IP address of 177.1.10.1 with 24 bit mask. Okay, and then I have def also defined uh, uh, VLAN for uh, data as well. Dot 11 and which IP address 177.1.11.255 uh, 
with 24 bit mask okay and third i have also defined it and the server vlan which i have said where i will be placing all my cuc um, cops uh, cuc and active directory you know, servers on on the separate vlan okay which has the ip address of 177.1.100.1 with 24 bit mask uh, these are the basic configurations which uh, uh, everyone must be knowing and, and in this network I have been using OSPF as my routing protocol it's it's simple uh, and it's quick uh, to define so that's why I've used uh, ease of this uh, lab uh, I have used OSPF okay so I've defined the OSPF one and I define the networks in in one area I have not used different areas to uh, define uh, to make uh, the network much complex for my uh, viewers so I've kept all the network in area 0 okay and I've defined the OSPF connections and uh, these are the dial peers which I've defined which I will be showing you okay uh, no need to worry about those ones okay once this this configuration is done that means and uh, uh, done and make sure that you can you are, are good okay let me conf let me show you this one as well branch office 2 as i already showed you this is a, a layer 3 switch which i have been using okay so show run In my previous videos, uh, uh, I have used a router here and a switch here, a router here and a switch here, uh, which makes my processor goes crazy. So for the ease of the purpose, I've just used a layer three switch. I eliminated an extra switch. Uh, uh, I'm using um, this switch as both a router as well as a switch. Okay, so that's why it's uh, still in the name of switch two. Okay. So this configuration is somewhat different from uh, what we got in our, uh, our router configuration. Here the same as I have def I have uh, defined a loopback uh, with IP addresses, uh, VIP addresses, and uh, and assign that uh, loopback to the voice interface, and, and then bind those interface source address to H3 H3 two three gateway voice. Okay. Uh, uh, so you must be wondering that if you're using a multi-layer switch how you have configured uh, uh, the IP address on the switch uh, no worries I will show you that one as well um, as you can see this is uh, this is the link which is connecting to PSTN so first Ethernet 0 slash 0 you need to type a command called no switch port okay if you type a no switch port uh, the switch uh, it will become a IP recognized port wherein you can able to assign and uh, the IP address for it. Okay, so I have defined the IP address of 202.1.100.1 with 32 bit mask. <coughs> sorry, 30 bit mask, and <coughs> and rest of them I'm using as normal switches. Okay. Uh, uh, as you must be knowing that uh, these two switches like this two ports uh, I will be using it for data and voice as as, as VLAN so I have defined um, interfaces ranges from 0 05 to 0 10 uh, into a switch port access VLAN 10 and switch port and voice VLAN and 10 so I've defined the VLANs here so and here I have defined the VLANs, interface VLAN. So the simple thing, thing to uh, configure the VLAN is, uh, is just under the command prompt. I'll show you uh, in a bit uh, how to configure this. So just uh, go to the description. Okay, it says VLAN voice as uh, VLAN with IP address of this 10, 11, okay, which is data and voice. I'm not using any server VLAN uh, here because I'm not interested in and defining multi clustered uh, network environment but uh, some of uh, them mm, we won't bring they want to implement it inshallah i will be doing in my uh, upcoming videos okay 
Uh, again, the same thing. I have used OSPF as my routing protocol. I've defined uh, the networks and defined the area in it. Okay. So, uh, in order to, as I said, how to define uh, in the VLAN. So, if you are in enable mode, enable mode, just type VLAN database. Okay. It takes you to the VLAN and type VLAN twenty name. Um, server. An example, okay. Then it says uh, VLAN created. Then type apply. It will be created, okay. Now that I don't want any VLANs, no VLAN twenty, okay. Deleted VLAN. Apply, okay. Exit, okay. So this is how you create the VLANs, okay. And then you need to go into that VLAN interface. To define these IP addresses, okay, uh, dot eleven and twelve, uh, ten and eleven for data and voice respectively, okay. Uh, the same configuration is for branch two as well, okay. Okay, so this how oh, oh, the network infrastructure is defined, okay, and I will show you PSTN as well how it's been defined as well, so. We will rock and move on to our configurations. Okay, let me describe a brief, brief overview of how the PST connections are defined here. Okay, same as I said, uh, if you type no switch port, the switch mode will be uh, converted to a routing mode wherein you can able to define the IP addresses. Okay. Here also I'm using a loopback at zero with uh, the different IP address of the same range 177.1.254.4 uh, but whereas in branch 1 and branch 2 I have just changed and from 4 to 3, 3 to 1, 1 to 0 okay so uh, this is uh, what the configuration look like okay so uh, in order to find the connectivity I will ping from um, PSTN to 203 check yes I'm pinging to this this node okay so 203.1.100.1 okay successfully ping uh, let me check can I able to ping in this node loopbacks which is 177.1.254.3 okay ping 177 so okay, off okay, 177.1.254.3 okay ping out it's pinging the loop back as well let me check the loop can i able to ping for not three years to branch office one as well yes so this is done um, um by the help of a routing protocol called ospf wherein again i have a uh, view the same uh, routing protocol OSPR, which is quite simple for me to define, I'm not making it complex. Okay, so that's how the network infrastructure is defined. Okay, uh, yes, I want to close this now. Okay, so everything is perfectly working. You can ping from this uh, router to this loop back, or from this loop back to this loop back, anywhere. Uh, uh, the concept of uh, defining the frame relay and PST is that uh, uh, during a, you know in a live environment at uh, most of the companies uh, the use of voice is to reduce the cost of, of communication between the branches as uh, which is uh, cost effective so in this infrastructure uh, a normal in a normal conditions when an head office uh, person want a person in the head office wants to make a call uh, uh, to branch office too uh, so uh, the network goes in the frame relay cloud get connected and passes on to here okay and in the worst uh, in worst case scenario scenario okay for some reason this frame relay cloud got back that is gone off crossed okay okay so it's, it's, it's crossed then and the connection 
will be over the PSTN and then to here okay uh, in, in the near, near future videos I will be showing you how uh, the numbers numbers get manipulated and how the transaction and <coughs> works like if you are uh, how the router knows uh, uh, how which which road to take uh, which uh, route it have to take uh, uh, when it's uh, trying to make a, a connection okay if uh, if a four digit number is dialed then it will take a frame relay cloud and if a full PSTN number that is e point six is six three six four standard is followed how the connection how the uh, 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 call is routed from PSTN to here um, this this uh, and what are the restrictions like uh, more on in depth we will be seeing our near future videos okay so let me jump back to our VMB oh, okay uh, let me show you the uh, that I'm using Cisco Unified Communication Manager 8.6 as and you must be aware that how to install it uh, uh, it's, it's a basic basic setup as same as uh, Cisco uh, unified communication manager 7.0 there is no much difference okay uh, if you're working on a virtual environment make sure that you have 2 GB RAM at least 2 GB RAM with two processors uh, assigned to it with 80, 80 GB of hard drive uh, and a network card of VM net one and a display auto detecting okay so it's not much in that okay as you can see is that I'm using Windows XP server as Windows XP professional okay okay uh, okay can you see can you see can you see it yes yes uh, so Windows XP a basic Windows XP connection uh, installation okay so let me move on to Windows uh, um, let me move on to Cisco Unified Communication Manager. Okay, uh, I'm powering it out, powering it on. Okay, and on the right hand screen, you can see is how uh, what is being coming up. Okay, so uh, I've switched it on. Okay, it's coming, reading, detecting everything. Okay. So the, this is the basic uh, uh, run run setup, which is uh, which will be running whenever you power on CUCM. Okay, wherein it will be uh, gathering the information uh, about uh, the configuration, like uh, what platform you are using. Uh, as you must be aware, that uh, CUCM is purely Linux based. Okay, uh, and the core of this is uh, operating system. Uh, is Linux and there is not much uh, configuration settings assigned to administrator, normal administrator for uh, of UCM. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the setup which will be running up. Uh, I'll pause the video now and I'll come back uh, when it's up and running. Yeah, it's too quick. I know. Uh, there you can see Cisco Unified Communication Manager 8.6.1, which is the latest version. Okay, you guys will be very good and very well. Uh, uh, what I used to say, lucky that uh, uh, you are getting hands on 8.6. Really, isn't it? Okay, that's uh, that's never mind. Uh, this. Uh, uh, is a virtual environment as already said you where I'm using VMware workstation 8.5 version wherein I have installed CUCM 8.6.1 if you guys require uh, any information about how to install VMware uh, CUCM on a VMware machine please do post and I will reply you back as soon as possible okay um, and I have to create a different video for that to be honest because it takes a long time and uh, it to get it installed and running okay uh remind me later let's see. okay so now that we are in cucm not gui mode it's cli mode which is command line information mode okay so before that let me uh, type uh, before i go in let me type my admin credentials okay it's admin 
Now, now I'm going to tell you my password. Otherwise, you will get hacked to my systems. Okay. Oops, it says incorrect. Okay, let's try one second. It's ADMIM. Admin. Bingo. Okay. It says the last login was on 12th of August. It was too long for me. Okay. Uh, uh, 12th of August, Sunday at 3 or 5.30. Okay. Sorry. It was too long for me because I was busy with my stuff. Uh, you know, Ramadan is here. Uh, I have lots of work to do here. And, uh, and that's the only reason. On, um, it was too long for me to log on to this as module okay it's loading command line interface is starting up please wait yes you have patience no worries by the way uh before or uh, before i uh, go in depth like into coc module let me say let me tell you one thing Sorry, uh, uh, it was a, a, a prayer time for me. Okay, no worries. Okay, what I was showing is that, uh, well, yeah, if you can see, is that in the IP address which I have assigned uh, to CUCM is 177.1.100.10, okay, with 24 bit mask. And this I will be telling you later, but for time being, just uh, keep in mind that I'm using the um, same subnet 100. 100 but with different IP addresses 10 20 and 30 okay so keep this in uh, in mind that uh, the IP address which I'm using for CUCM is 177.1.100.10 okay so uh, okay so I logged into a CUCM where it says that I'm using VMware installation installation uh, VMware installation with two core CPUs with Intel i7 at 2.6 gigahertz with 80 GB of hard drive, 2 GB of RAM. Um, that's it. It shows nothing else. Okay. So uh, I'm as I said, I'm in a command line interface. Uh, let me show you some. Uh, it's 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 somewhat similar. It's 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 a, a typical Cisco Unify uh, Cisco's CLI format, wherein if you type help it gives you show and space then question mark it gives you all the details okay uh, like uh, what accounting account logs uh, show the accounts account lockings date uh, hardware uh, logins memory myself uh, network okay the network open package passwords projects registries uh, SMTA uh, time zones which are what I'm using everything okay so let me check show m by my if i press tab it will complete the sentence uh, show myself okay to who i am okay so basically it says you are cucm 8.6 the account which you are using is admin have a privilege level of four command count is disabled logging settings is disabled okay that's all it shows okay so let me go on to other command called show Okay, uh, show network. Okay, it gives you all this one. So I'll go for Ethernet zero, which is uh, uh, which I'm using for connecting. It. Okay, so show Ethernet. Sorry, uh, ET sorry ETH zero. Okay, so it will, it is it's taking time to get the information and in the format. So there you see that. Uh, it's uh, the DHCP is disabled by the way. Okay, uh, status is up and running. Our IP address, I said you 177.1.100.11. Okay, uh, 
uh, IP address of 24-bit uh, mask, link detected yes, mode is arc enabled full, 100 MP duplicate IP address no, and the default gateway is 177.1.100.1. Okay, so that's all. Uh, let me show you one more command. Uh, let me say not the count. Uh, let's check uh, what I show you. What I show you. What I show you is um, hardware. Check. Let's check the hardware. Okay, this is hardware. Hardware. How do requirements for blah blah blah? Uh, it says the hardware platform is VMware virtual machine with two core. Blah blah blah. I have, you know, object ID is slow and so use the and OS version of UCOC Unified Communication Operating System 5.0.0 uh, serial number of VMware is blah 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 sorry by the way uh, uh, no RAID is detected BIOS same as uh, the laptops have the Phoenix technology uh, 8 GB of uh, hard drive uh, then that's it no. No. Check once again. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It shows the information about uh, the hardware specification. Okay, getting the getting into depth of CLI commands. There are many commands which are uh, are useful uh, uh, and which we will be we will be using in our you know upcoming uh, videos. Okay, the one command which I normally use is called utils. Okay, U T I L utils. Who Lots of commands in utils. Uh, RDG code, uh, blah, firewall, import, network, uh, much more, much more, much more. Okay, SNMP systems. Okay, the one which I am is utils, utils network. Okay, net, network, network. Okay, okay, this command as used to do lots of things like it's it's um, uh, there you can see there's one command called ping which is quite similar to the ping command okay so let me ping uh if you have any doubt just click space question mark and it will give you the descriptions like the destination mandatory counts blah 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 so i'll ping 177.1.100 oh sorry 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 guys network UTILS UTILS network okay okay anything sorry my okay yes I can able to ping server uh no not the server the router okay the router I can able to ping okay let me check can I able to ping okay I just can be arrow mark can I able to ping ping dot three which is the loopback okay of branch 2 okay yes I can able to ping that means the connectivity between the head office and the two branch two office is successful bingo okay so uh, this is the basic command and one more command I will show you is uh, blah 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 network not network okay there is one more command which is not normally, uh, normally used by the administrator itself if you are an administrator for any company and you forgot password for the administrator uh, that's true so if you have forgot your password for the administrator or if you want to reset user interface the administrator in sense here is there are two types of administrator in CUCM one for the core of the operating system itself okay and other for the application okay you will, be, you will be seeing uh, how the application also works okay so so this two let me, let me point out okay this two is for application administration okay so it says utils reset application underscore application underscore ui administrator underscore name okay so if you don't remember the name and you want to reset it or if you remember the name you want to reset it sorry in that way is very good uh, like um, I have I'm using admin 
as a uh, administrative user if you want to change to superman or superhero it's up to you okay I have no problem okay but it should be not identified easily by a hacker okay and the second thing is uh, and second mm, administrator mode is for core operating system which we are using now the piece of ui so this is what you will be using okay uh, if you want systems okay so it says boot restart shutdown switch the version and switch the version and upgrade okay if you are upgrading from 7.0 or 8.0 to 8.6 so you need to use utility systems upgrade okay then give the initial status everything you have to check it and you have to move on to the update process okay if you want to shut down the system just type shut down and press enter and it will ask you are you sure you want to shut down yes then you shut down the system okay right now we are not in that uh, uh, scenario okay uh, we just want to have some basic uh, uh, UI structures okay uh, there's one more command called set okay which is used to set the accounts said uh, if an account is locked out locking we can reset it and uh, uh, if you want to assign an ip address like i've said network network okay if you want to assign an ip address like presently the ip address is 177.1.100.11 but if you want to change this to 3040 use this command network set and space network space gives you then ip okay then you need to type uh, the mode uh, like the interface Ethernet zero okay and then it will warn you first show are you want to change the IP address this is because whenever you change make any changes to the hardware configuration like network configurations uh, like changing the gateway uh, changing the IP address uh, the system needs to restart so for time being I have not no more interested in this defining the new IP address for it so that's all I have uh, there you if you want to set the gateway or the host name if you want to set you can do it it's up to you uh, we don't have any problem uh, it's up to the user's requirement uh, to be honest uh, like some users want the different IP address to be used uh, and some users want to stick to some level of uh, uh, IP address so th this these are the things which uh, we will be discussing on okay uh, for time being uh, let me pause the video and switch on to uh, windows xp wherein we will go to the application mode okay okay yeah uh, uh, i have switched myself from um cisco unified communication manager 8.6 to windows xp okay and uh, let me check what ip address i have given is 40 okay perfect same ip address okay let me check the connectivity between this one okay just for 1.100.11 yeah this is good connectivity between cucm and windows xp okay so i will open a mozilla firefox and here i will type the ip address of uh, Cisco Unified Communication Manager, which is 177.1.100.11. Okay. Oh, it's, it's getting populated. Okay. Since I have been using this. Okay. I'll press enter. Okay. Needs to be patience. Okay. So here is your first page of uh, Cisco Unified Communication Manager. Okay. Uh, we say the cryptographic effects blah 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 law distribution us console blah 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 so i will click on this one cisco unified communication manager okay bingo this is the application which we will be working mostly on it okay so uh looking into in depth uh i will break down this video now uh, I will uh, I will make another video on this wherein I will be showing different 
modules of, of CUCM um, and uh, uh, how to uh, configure the CUCM um, and so on okay uh, so uh, let's uh, for, for for just for fun uh, I will type ADMI so ADMI admin okay let me uh, introduce the page but uh, in depth of this I will be making another video because uh, I think it's too long video for this and no one wants to watch such a long videos to make them boring and I don't want my viewers to get bored so it's loading up the page it says system call routing media resources advanced features devices application user management bulk administration so and so and so okay so in my next videos I will be going to all these five features okay which is Cisco unified reporting a Cisco unified administration which is right now we are a recovery systems a serviceability and operating system itself but this uh, this uh, administration doesn't allow you to go in depth of kernels of uh, Linux it just gives an overview of uh, of how uh, the operating system uh, is working like configurations are defined okay as you can see is that I'm using a licensed uh, demo license of the UCM uh, 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 the features of CUCM uh, 8.6 when compared to 8.0 is that uh, the, uh, they have uh, defined well structured uh, uh, modules uh, as, as which uh, uh, they have not defined previous versions um, and second thing uh, uh, different vendors like third party vendors uh, like Linksys have you heard about the Linksys server it's a Microsoft product surely i will be uh, making a video on that as one that one as well uh, for my viewers to get benefits okay it's another uh, product from microsoft uh, uh x client and can integrate with with uh, cisco unified communication so on so thing so it's 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 really great it's really great to be honest uh to uh, uh, have this sort of videos as designed by myself okay uh, I'll be teaching you more on and this uh, I will be defining what's up the process of Cisco unified reporting administration blah 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 and uh, in my next video thanks for watching have a great day I'll see you in my next video thank you very much and please do comments okay thank you bye bye